the picture from a wider range of view. What? There are certain situations which can never be treated by law. A surrogate mother is not always a friend who carries a child for her, child for her friends. That's not always the case. And if you legalize surrogacy in this case, then you have to legalize it in all cases. Let's, let's have a situation where the mother takes money and then she likes the child that she was, she was a surrogate mother of. And she wants to take this child. And in front of this, she's going to give back the money. What kind of laws will, will the law be with the money being paid or with the law be with the tiredness and efforts being made 24-7 for nine months? Which one, will, which one has, has the right to win? The money or the nine months tiredness for 24-7? Again, another situation. What the, the surrogate mother, mother has disagreements with, uh, with the parents for, for, many, for many issues, say money. What's going to happen? What kind of laws will, will legalize or will put the rules to which who should have the child? Uh, another thing, we're all humans. We are meant, we are created for this. We are created on Earth to help others, to serve our society. From Asia or from America to Somalia, the streets are full of homeless children who are the criminals of tomorrow. Isn't it better to, to, to have these children, give them care, give them love, to be the, the doctors of tomorrow? Isn't that worth it? Isn't that worth it? Is having a child, what's, what's love? Imagine you're a child, you grew up, by, you, you were born by surrogacy, and now you're 20. Now you know what's the definition of love. Is the definition of love money? I'm being created because of money. I'm being created because I was paid. Someone was paid money to carry me inside, or is it because for no, no, thank you, or because, or is it because some people accepted me without being genetically related, and they paid money, they raised me up, they educated me, and they did everything they could to make me a doctor, to make me an engineer, to make me the best human, to make me uh, their child without being genetically related. Thank you. Yes, go so you're saying that um, the last point. Uh, well, why why are the uh, why only couples with infertility must deal with um, you know children uh, with um, adopt with adopting children? Why doesn't everyone do it if it's so beautiful and so amazing? Why is uh, that sort? Of, why are only infertile couples called uh, selfish if they're not adopting children? Why do infertile couples want children then? Why do you want children? 